Traveling Mail.com. One of the great things about Slovenia is that it's a really small country and you can get to everything really quickly and easily. So we just took a one hour bus ride from Ljubljana to Postojna Yama, which are caves. Um, and today we're staying, we got here a day early so we could look around, walk around. We're staying at the Hotel Yama and it's really nice. They just renovated it and um, we're pretty excited just to be here staying in a really nice hotel. Uh, they even gave the kids little cookies. Uh, we have an amazing view and we're ready to get out and start exploring. <laughs> Hotel Yama. It's really nice. They just redid all the rooms, so everything's really new and fancy. And um, having some wine. The kids are in the lobby just reading, and we're gonna have a drink and then get some dinner. ready to go into Postoinska Yama and I think we're all excited. I'm especially excited because I used to work in a cave in Sequoia National Park and did cave tours and led teenagers caving in West Virginia. I just really love caves and all the things inside caves, the geology, the critters, um, and crawling around. We'll mostly be walking today, but we're going to start out with the regular cave tour that um, you sign up and you ride on a train and walk around. And then we're going to scoot off into another passageway, which I think is an artificial passageway, um, to a second cave, Black Cave, and then on to a third cave as well. So we're going to see a little extra um, three cave tour today. <music> stalagmites. This is very important because they cease to grow. They become black and they cease to grow because of the moisture which is in the skin. So being in a cave really puts things into perspective in terms of our own timeline like geology does. Um, our guide was saying that the formations in here, depending on the amount of water of course, grow one centimeter per 100 years. That's incredibly slow. And we've seen formations that are 300,000 years old. And so our time here is tiny, tiny. And this little guy here, the stalagmite, um, could be 10,000 years old.
place is so amazingly cool, and I feel like I'm in the movie Journey to the Center of the Earth, which of course was also a book, uh, but it's absolutely amazing in here. the Russian bridge into the new cave which is actually the oldest part of the cave it's the highest up um, as the river cuts through the cave um, more rooms are exposed and so the newest part is down by the river and we're suited up with our helmets and ready to go <laughs> The cave was discovered uh, 200 years ago and 200 years in the life of cave it's 2 centimeters like this. So 1 meter it's 10,000 years, this is roughly 15,000 years old stalagmite. So these are this really interesting, these are bricks that the Germans used to cut off this, uh, hold on, this part of the cave and the entrance where we came through originally, they used to store gasoline as a gas depot. And then partisans snuck through here, this entrance, knocked through the wall and blew up the gas depot and apparently it burned for a week uh, and they got out alive and everything. So it's kind of cool. cave and came up near the entrance where these ice stalagmites are forming. Basically the same process but without the minerals and uh, and it's cold so they freeze and then these will melt. Some of them are already starting to melt and refreeze uh, but really cool and kind of magical to see these. chapel they call it in Puka cave which is the last cave we're going in today and it's where the Puka River runs through it's so beautiful and there's mist and fog and when they made these paths they discovered this little room called the chapel I think the Italians did this cave has been around for well the cave itself for a long time but people have been in the cave for 200 years as tourists so it's had a lot of different people and different workings going on in here but Still, it's still pretty natural and beautiful, and I think we're all a little bit blown away by it all. Our guide, Boyko, was just tell telling me that there are over a hundred species of animals that live in this cave all the time, including the um, blind colorless salamander, but um, that's just one of a hundred species. And a lot of them come in on this river that flows through the cave is how they got in in the first place. River 
river and we are still in the cave, but the river goes through the cave, which is super cool. It is hard to conceive of or even show in a video how massive and vast these caves are, these caverns, these huge rooms. Um, and there's this dripping water and the cool air and the echo and it is mind blowing. one of those salamanders coming out into the sunlight and it seems so bright now after being in the cave for three hours. Um, it was amazing. We went through three of the five caves that make up the 24 kilometer cave system here and um, the rooms were cavernous yeah, of course and the decorations were beautiful and um, if you're in Slovenia you got to do it. This is definitely going to be one of the highlights of our time here. Thank you.